Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Marker Doodle Monday. So I was thinking about late-night talk show hosts and how they say, we've got a great show for you tonight, like every night, and how not all shows are created equal, but they say it anyway, you know, well... I'm really excited about today's doodle, and I feel like I say that every week, but I really dig this one, and I think you will too. Anyway, today we're drawing Mike Trout for Celos over on the Instagrams. Celos' instructions were basically, do what you want, but I want Trout in a City Connect uniform, and I don't blame them. The Angels City Connects are pretty awesome. I, I do like a lot of the City Connect uniforms, and there are a few that make me throw up in my mouth a little bit, but I think the Angels are especially classy, so that's the project, and now I'm supposed to talk about Mike Trout. But we all know Mike Trout, like he went from Hobby Darling, uh, you know, the Mickey Mantle of modern baseball, to that guy that everybody says, I feel bad for that guy, he just can't stay healthy. And of course, the Angels haven't exactly put a great team around him lately. I was looking over his stats, and he's already played 14 years, that is crazy, and he's only 33, so he should have some good years left. He was the unanimous Rookie of the Year, um, he's got three MVPs, nine Silver Slugger awards, and 11 All-Star appearances. Even if he ends up playing another eight or nine years and becoming a compiler, he's got more accolades than plenty of guys that are in the Hall of Fame already. And uh, nobody questions that he's on that track, but when you think of modern baseball and who's headed there, I think he's the one guy that sets that bar for everyone else, even if he hasn't had a ton of postseason play. Back to the task at hand. I went looking for reference photos and I came across a spring training photo of Trout signing autographs for fans and I thought it was fun and I've never attempted something like this before. I'm sure he's not an easy autograph to get so that's what really intrigued me about this image. And then I plopped the City Connect uniform on there and uh, now is where I realized that I kind of made a mistake because uh, those red stripes on his right sleeve are actually supposed to be on the other sleeve. So. I could either fib and tell you that I did that on purpose. It's an artistic choice because the stripes are a big part of the look of that jersey and, and you wouldn't be able to see them on his left arm. Or I could own up to it and just admit my mistake. Um, I'm, I'm still thinking about how I want to handle that. Sometimes people get these doodles autographed, which is always fun to see. And if there ever was one that would be cool with some ink on it, it would be this one. But uh, I don't think that's very likely at all. But that would be so meta. Sales pitch time. This original art is going to Celos, unless that sleeve bugs him too much. But if you can look past that and you want a custom card with this art, I'm happy to sell you one. A limited number of those are available in my Etsy store right now while supplies last. Link is in the description below. As always, I've been having so much fun doing these and I really appreciate all of your support. Marker Doodle Mondays have been such a blessing and such a blast. There's Mikey. I think it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys do too. Thanks for trusting me to do this one, Celos. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch, and we'll see you real soon.